Hello AI adventurers. Ever wondered how we can make those large language models, LLMs, even smarter and more knowledgeable? Today, we're diving into a fascinating comparison, traditional RAG versus graph RAG. This awesome infographic lays out the two main approaches for retrieval augmented generation, RAG, which is a fancy way of saying we're giving our LLMs extra information to work with. We'll break down each method in plain English so you can understand the key differences and when you might want to use one over the other. First up, let's look at traditional RAG. Think of this as giving the LLM a stack of relevant documents. Here's how it typically works. We have additional documents that we want our LLM to know about. These documents are encoded into numerical representations called embeddings using an embedding model. These embeddings are then indexed and stored in a vector database, which is like a special library optimized for finding similar pieces of information. When we ask a query, it also gets encoded using the same embedding model. The vector database performs a similarity search to find the similar documents that are most relevant to our query. These similar documents are then added to our original query in a prompt that's fed to the LLM. Finally, the LLM uses this augmented information to generate a final response. So, traditional RAG is all about finding relevant chunks of text based on semantic similarity and feeding them to the LLM. Now, let's explore graph RAG. This approach takes things a step further by understanding the relationships between different pieces of information. Here's the breakdown. Again, we start with additional documents. Instead of just embedding them directly, we use an LLM graph generator to extract entities and relationships from these documents. Think of it as identifying the key players and how they connect to each other. Our query is still encoded into an embedding. This encoded query is used to perform a similarity search within the graph database. However, instead of just retrieving similar documents, we also perform a graph traversal. This means we explore the connections and relationships between the entities found in the graph. The result is relevant context, which isn't just similar documents, but also related entities and their connections. This context, which includes nodes and relationships, is combined with our query in a prompt for the LLM. Finally, the LLM uses this richer, relationship-aware information to generate a final response. So, the key difference with graph RAG is that it understands not just the content of the documents, but also how different concepts and entities within those documents are linked. This allows the LLM to leverage a more structured and interconnected understanding of the information. In a nutshell, traditional RAG finds relevant text chunks based on similarity. Graph RAG understands entities and their relationships within the information for more context-aware retrieval. Both approaches aim to make LLMs more knowledgeable and provide better answers, but Graph RAG can potentially unlock deeper insights by understanding the connections within the data. Thanks for watching.